Hey guys, welcome back to another Tying Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Kai, and today we're going to be tying a fun little spring runoff fly uh, version of a squalla stone. Um, so, a little bit of a buggy pattern. I'm typically going to be in like an 8 to 12 type of range. Uh, so, in the vise, we're going to put the new uh, Umqua XC 400. Uh, we're using a size 10 today, and then I've got some hairline. I believe hairs, ear brown, modeled beads um, in a 3.8 mil. So it uh, could go a little smaller on the bead, could go a little bigger if you really wanted it to plummet. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get going. Uh, I'm gonna start the thread right behind the bead. Uh, for thread, I'm using Semperfly Nano Silk in the 50 denier, which is a 12 op. Um, awesome stuff. I'm using copper today, one of my favorite colors. Um, Kind of has like a pinkish coppery hue when it's laid on thinner or more stretched out. Um, could be like brown. Super cool color. If you guys haven't used this thread though, uh, the Nano Silk and other Simplify products, get you some because uh, it's really awesome, super strong. So cool. So after I get a nice thread base there, we're gonna get some hairs ear um, just from a hairline hairs mask for our tail. Um, this would be very similar to how you do on kind of any hair's ear fly. Um, little tail, you don't want it too bush bushy. I uh, also don't need it too long, but you definitely want it to be known that there's a tail on the bug. So like I said at the beginning, super good runoff fly. Uh, you see these a lot in Colorado. Um, on a lot of the bigger freestone rivers for sure, um, but sure sign spring is here. And the fish are happy if you see these guys out and about. Um, could also use it as a general attractor any time of the year. So we'll go ahead get our tail going there. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is tie in our rib. Um, for the rib today, I'm using Vivas holographic tinsel in this orange, one of my favorite flash materials. I use this stuff for. All kinds of ribbings, wing cases and stuff, um, but fish love orange. It's got some nice holographic flash to it. Really gives this pattern a good pop. So we'll tie that on the near side of the shank. And I'm gonna take this back and build up a little bit of thread. Uh, Nano silk is like definitely not the thread you wanna use if you're trying to do a lot of bodybuilding, a lot of thread work and tapering. Uh, even if you spin it up, do whatever. It lays very, very flat. So, as you can see, I'm putting on quite a few turns of thread, and not a lot is happening here. So, we're gonna go ahead and straighten this out a little. We'll get our taper going just a slight bit there. Nothing too serious. For the body, instead of hair's ear dubbing like you would traditionally do on a hair's ear style fly, I'm using some dirty bug yarn from Semperfly. Um, definitely get some of this. This is one of my favorite materials I've seen in a long time. Um, it's spooled up so it doesn't get messy. It stays nicely stored, I guess you could say. Um, it comes in two strands. Uh, two different strands and you can split it for smaller flies leave it big for bigger type stuff uh, You can break it down and use it for dubbing uh, It's really awesome stuff a lot of cool colors uh, the molted colors like molted caddis green molted dark caddis and stuff are my favorite but Million applications you could use for this so like bodies collars on nymphs dry flies, whatever um, Dirty bug yarn is cool so I'm going to tie that on on my side of the shank, get it nice and secure. I did go ahead and split this before, so this would be one strand of the bug yarn. Um, when you do do it down to one strand, uh, it can get a little weak in here, so if you're really pulling on it to palmer, uh, sometimes if you're not careful, it'll just sort of pull apart. Um, but if you're careful, it's no big deal. And I've also had no problems with durability fishing it. So we're going to go ahead and start just palmering this up. You can totally control your taper with this bug yarn as well. Pull it a little bit harder at the back. 
to pull it a little tighter and then of course at the top you can sort of overlap it and just bring it forward build up your taper and tie that off up here at the head and we're gonna go ahead and rib it the opposite direction with this Vivas holographic nice and tight and you can really see how those pop and then we will secure that as well cool so you got your body ribbed and ready to go So we've got that all cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fly over to tie in a wing casing. I'm gonna trim this just a little bit thinner. Uh, for the wing casing, I'm literally just using a black piece of plastic. Um, you could use scud back, you could use just something clear plastic and then cover it with a, a black Sharpie, it, put some black UV on it. Um, you could do something not black, but this is easy enough um, and it's going to give the look that we need so go ahead and get our wing casing secured on the bottom side there um, and then next we're going to tie in a little bit of legs slash a little bit of flash this is just crystal flash in black so we'll take some of this on either side and tie it in make sure it's nice and even and tight take one more little piece of that for the other side and I think this as well as acting as legs coming out of the abdomen gives it the perfect amount of flash so Cool. So there you can see wing case legs all ready to go. Uh, next step, we're going to take some more of this hair's mask um, and just pluck some out, rough it up, and make a little classic hair's ear dubbing. For our thorax, um, this you're going to be want to be a little bit thicker. Um, you can make a pretty bushy dub and noodle here we're gonna have to add a little bit more uh, you definitely want this thorax to stick out though and kind of complete your taper of the body you want it to be obvious that this is a different segment so dub that in there and we're gonna bring our thread back in front of the legs Fold our small little piece of plastic over. Of course, if you didn't use plastic, you could just come in here and finish with some black resin or whatever. Cool, fold that over. Doesn't need to be too tight or pretty. And we'll get in here with the scissors. Trim it out best we can. Cool. Clean that up with a few more wraps. Looks like we got a spring over here. Um, and then we're gonna give this a whip finish. chop out our thread 
take a little bit of our Loon UV clear fly finish and we'll cover this up. Whoa, mostly for durability. That got out of hand. And kind of spread that around. Hit it with our torch real quick. And last step is going to be to come in and trim out the legs. Uh, just give them a chop on each side. Um, there you can see how the fly is going to ride. Top, bottom. Um, super solid little fly. Definitely going to work in runoff. Um, toss it on the rig other times of the year as an attractor. Thanks a lot guys.